Google and Microsoft have announced to incorporate AI technology into their productivity products. While Google was the first to announce its plans, Microsoft's plans seem bolder than Google's, but more on that later. On March 15, 2023, Google announced a suite of upcoming generative AI features for its workspace apps, such as Google Docs, Gmail, Sheets, and Slides. These features include new ways to generate, summarize, and brainstorm text with AI in Google Docs, similar to how OpenAI's ChatGPT is used. Users can generate full emails in Gmail based on brief bullet points and produce AI-generated imagery, audio, and video to illustrate presentations and slides. While the company announced multiple features, only AI writing tools in Docs and Gmail will be available to a group of trusted testers in the US this month. Google says these and other features will become available to the public later in the year, but no specific date was mentioned. This announcement highlights Google's eagerness to keep up with its competitors in the new AI race. With the arrival of ChatGPT last year and Microsoft's recent launch of its chatbot-enabled Bing, Google has been striving to introduce similar AI features. Just a day after Google's announcement, on March 16, 2023, Microsoft revealed its latest plans to make artificial intelligence more accessible to users in response to Google's recent unveils. Microsoft previewed a new AI tool called Copilot for Microsoft 365, which includes Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, and Outlook emails. According to Microsoft, AI will provide a draft in these applications, accelerating content creation and freeing up workers' time. In Microsoft Word, Copilot can generate a first draft of a document, which users can customize according to their needs. It serves as a starting point and a way to avoid blank page syndrome. In PowerPoint, users can input as much business information as they have, and the tool will assist them in creating a compelling slideshow using more of the available features in the app. In Outlook, Copilot can read and summarize long email threads, summarizing key discussion points, including who said what, where people stand, and where they disagree, and proposing action items, all in real time during a meeting. With Copilot and Excel, you can efficiently analyze trends and produce visually appealing data visualizations. In addition, the company introduced a new generative AI chatbot named Business Chat, which serves as a smart concierge to expose users to the new AI features. If these new AI assistant features work as advertised, they could save workers significant time by utilizing the power of OpenAI's latest language model, GPT-4, through Copilot, Microsoft is significantly modifying its enterprise productivity suite, one of its key products. While Google was quick to announce its plans of embedding generative AI features within its workspace productivity apps, the search giant's plans seem less bold than Microsoft simply because they do not involve exposing Google generative AI models to proprietary work data. Microsoft has years of incumbency and experience in corporate settings, and it's using that standing to make generative AI useful, not just something that chats and writes poems. The intense competition between Google and Microsoft to develop the most advanced generative AI technology will likely significantly impact the tech industry and beyond. As these companies continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI, we can expect faster and more accurate content creation, data analysis, and other applications that could transform how we work and communicate. What are your thoughts on this? Make sure to share your opinions in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more awesome videos like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel. We will see you in the next video. Peace.